Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to our vlog. Your head looks a lot bigger than mine because yeah. you're closer. By the way, camera. someone said I had a massive head. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to say thank you to that person. <laughs> Everyone you? comment below and tell Stephen he has a massive Don't! head. Don't! Just be nice Everyone to me. Like, Stephen, you have a massive no, head. I just want to see how many people say that. Say nice things. I, yeah, someone said, I, I like this vlog, but Stephen has a massive head. <laughs> Literally, that I was like a that comment. it was a but. It wasn't even like, I like this vlog and Stephen has a massive head. Yeah. It was, I like this vlog, yeah. but Stephen does have a massive head, which kind of took me out of the vlog. Well, what I did was I said, thank you. I just replied, thank you. And then another lady said, but that lady who said you had a big head has got a tattoo on her boobs. Oh. And I said to, to her, well, at least she's got a normal sized head. Right. That's a nice little exchange. Yeah. <coughs> Check out Ali's bandana. Yeah, he just got washed. At the, at the dog cleaners. I wish you guys could smell him. Yeah, he smells nice. <gasps> so today's video, I wanted to talk about how to get a million followers on Instagram. And I can talk about that because I just hit a million followers on Ooh, hoo, hoo. Instagram. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks. That's all right. He did it. Pleasure. All by myself. Anytime. Well, not always. No, not. you helped. Thank you. And so did the dog. And so did the dog. Look at him. Aww. So how did you do it? Yeah. Tell him how you did it. So how I did it, you guys, is... Um, I would say that the, the main key for how I got a million followers is persistence. Wouldn't you think? Yes. Now, quality content yes. is very important, right? Quality content, very important. You certainly do obsess over the quality of your videos in a good way. You, yes. You get very... So, you're, yeah, w with whatever you're doing, if you're doing fashion, if you're doing art, if you're doing comedy, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, um, Quality is important. Um, staying true to who you are and not being too influenced by other people's videos or other people's art or other people's this or that. You know, there's only one you. And um, when I started embracing my originality and started just really letting my freak flag uh, fly. fly. I was just going to say that. Yeah. When I started doing that, um, is when my number started really, really growing. Um, the first probably four or five months of shooting videos, I really studied other comedy videos. I was like, oh, okay, this is how you do it. It's one, two punch. You know, there's this title and. What does you know, one, two punch mean? Um, like, there's different punches in the. Uh, like payoffs. There's a setup and a payoff, setup and a payoff. So we'll, we call those punches for some reason. Okay. So like, what's the punch, we always say. Like when we're right. shooting with the crew, it's always, what's the punch? Um, how's it gonna end? Can you I know? just interject one thing? One of those early videos, I remember, your one-two punch. One-two was in the daylight, and the massive punch, the really funny bit, was completely in the dark. <laughs> Yes. The Seinfeld one, do you remember that? Yeah, so oh I... Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So I did a video where, uh, when you forget uh, the joke, when you forget the end of a joke. So, you know, I've got everyone's attention and... Loads and of I'm, people there. Uh, yeah, and loads of people there. And I'm like, I got a good joke, I got a good joke, okay, 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 okay. And then I go into the joke and I forget the punchline. And it was just that whole concept of like, when you have everyone's attention, they're all excited about the joke, and then you forget the punchline, and the, the letdown that comes with that, and how upset people get. And I had like, my friends like throw tomatoes at me, and boo me, and stuff like that. But the funniest thing was at the end, yeah. you had a guy going on the other side of the street, and he was shouting, you suck! Yeah. And then he ran off. Yeah. But that was in complete darkness. Right, so we were shooting around like 4 or 5 p.m., so when we started shooting the sketch, it was light out. By the end of the sketch, it was dark out. At that point, I didn't see. know how to lighten videos. You couldn't see the guy. I think I was using iMovie, and I didn't know how to lighten videos. So, <sighs> <laughs> so it was really stupid. And it was we like were trying to justify. In fact, we should. 
If I can find it, I'll sh I'll put it in right We're there. We're trying to justify it, going. It's all right that you can't see him. It's funny enough that you can't see him. Actually, You're trying to justify yeah. that it was dark. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that was just like one of the many. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and it was very much just sort of I was finding my voice and what worked and. I think that if I hadn't had done it so much and I wasn't really um, persistent and consistent, you know, then... Ooh, did you just make that up? No. Consistent and persistent. Yeah. That's good. If I wasn't persistent and consistent, mm. then I wouldn't have found my voice so fast. So I really had to just keep going, keep going, keep going, because at the beginning when you start doing whatever it is you're doing and you're posting it online to, to however many people, you don't know how they're gonna react, what they're gonna respond to. A really good tip too is to give the people what they want. And I'm not saying sacrifice your creative integrity. I'm saying just give the people what you want without sacrificing your creative integrity. Like I started looking at what are getting the highest views and the most likes and why? And what can I do that's like that? You know, ultimately, I'm making art for you. At the end of the day, I am trying to make as many people laugh as possible. So what makes as many people laugh as possible? Let me do more of that, you know? Um, so if you're an artist and you're, you know, what inspires joy? What, what um, portraits or, I don't know. They used to say when you make an album, mm -hmm. or I heard some people say, in fact, no, I heard one person say this, but it stuck with me. When you're trying to make a record or trying to, I guess, do anything creative, but when it's a record, it, you, you make the record that you haven't heard yet, that you would love to hear. Mm, yes. That you can't buy anywhere. And yeah. you make that record. Yeah. And then there's a gap for it. Totally, yeah. The thing that you want to listen to or that you want to watch. That isn't there already. Totally. Yeah. That isn't there already. Yeah. And just the things that you, that woman is so funny. What's she doing? She's just hilarious. Oh, I love her. I you always have this like 95 year old that lives across the street and she always wears these bright pink yeah. robes and bright pink jumpsuits. She's brilliant. She's just hilarious. I love her. She's adorable. And she gets, she opens her garage up in the daytime and she sits in the garage with the door open. Didn't she tell you? It's cause it's cooler in here. She did. Yes, she did. We should uh, put her on the vlog one time. We've got an old lady over there who wears bright pink and is 90. And then over there, we've got the house of just absolute crazy shit going on. Well, it's, it's awesome now. There's like a re big record producer that lives next door. And like, there's just like this really loud hip hop music playing. And it's just crazy in there. But it's fun. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, persistence consistency, um, originality, quality, um, really too, it's about having fun, like, right? It's that whole thing of find what you love to do and find a way to do it every day. Hmm. Well, do that and utilize social media while you do that. So you wanna get a, a million Instagram followers? What's your passion? What do you love? What is it? Is it animals? Is it what? Is it anything, music, comedy? Art, beauty, you know, um, one-eyed pugs, yeah. right? Um, you see, like, Doug the Pug, it's like, they love that pug, and they've branded him in this original, amazing way. Ollie doesn't want us to talk about it. I was it. just going to say, you don't He's mention not Doug happy the Pug about that. in this house. But um, it's just finding what you love and finding your passion and being consistent with it. Another really good really good advice that I've gotten in the past is I had this friend when I was really scared to post a video and I was scared what you guys would think and I was scared you were gonna hate what I did or I was scared you weren't gonna care what I did even worse so uh, and she just looked at me she said you're an artist so you make art you're an artist make art she said and stay in the action and stay out of the result that was the other thing stay in the action stay out of the result so if you're focused on the numbers, not getting enough likes or comments or the couple of people who don't like your stuff, if you're too focused on that, it's going to stunt your growth and paralyze you. I don't know if he's talked about this on a vlog once before, but the first YouTube videos that we posted or you posted, we were getting 100 views or, like, or, or 200. Right. Literally, yeah. less than 100, some of them. Yeah. But we just kept going and going yeah. and going. In fact, the first YouTube video that I posted, 
I had done some years ago, but like, yeah, I basically posted it and then it was. Gone. I'm gonna get him. You carry on talking to the vlog. I um, I posted it and then I deleted it like the next day because I was in the results. I was like, oh my god, nobody watched it, nobody cares. I'm deleting this. So, and after that incident, I just like changed and I just again, you're like so close Sorry. to the camera. There you go. Boom. Um, but yeah, so. I got a million followers in a year and a half. A year and a half of consistent videos and um, finding my own voice and posting and just, you know, I, I pretty much did a video a day for a year. You did I, do a video a day for a year. Yeah, I, I think that if we're being honest, I might have missed one or two days, but what I would do is I would like post two that exactly. day. Exactly, sometimes you posted two. Sometimes I posted two, so yeah. I did make up for it in my own way, but, um, and that's a crazy goal to set, you know? You don't have to set such an extreme goal. If you wanna say, I want, I'm gonna post whatever it is, you know, twice a week or whatever. <laughs> for me, I wanted results fast, I wanted to grow fast, and I would say that a million followers in a year and a half is pretty fast. Yeah. And with Facebook, I'm almost at 3 million. I'm at over 2.7 million in a year. So of that, I've grown even faster than, um, than Instagram. And I think that that is because Facebook videos, you can share them. You can share them. Instagram, you can only tag. You can just tag your friends. If someone tags four friends, it's a big deal. You can't sh actually share. You can repost a video, but you can't tag. Yeah. So the growth is slower. Yeah. Whereas Facebook, they're sharing my video to their 3,000 friends. So, you know, the, the growth would naturally be faster. Yeah. Um, but I think that, you know, really it's just stay true to your voice. Do what makes you happy. Be original. Don't focus too heavily on what's around you. Stay original. Get a one-eyed pug. Get a one-eyed pug. Put them in videos. Put them in videos. Be fearless. Have fun. Don't sweat it too much. And uh, yeah, and, you can, and you can have a million followers. Do you good think advice. I, do you think I missed anything? No, I think that was all really good. I'm trying to think if there's any other things that I did. I'm trying to think there's... Think? There's, uh, what else? Video a day. Uh, you don't have to do a video a day, though. But it helps. You can so. say quality over quantity. Like, some of my videos weren't that great, but I just needed to post. So, there's other ways. Some people say quality over quantity all the way around. I was like, didn't overthink things. I just posted things I didn't know if they were great, and I was learning. And I was like, oh, this works, and I didn't think it would work. Or I thought this would kill, and nobody cared. Did he just fall? He fell off, yeah. Oh, Sorry, Ollie, did you mate. fall off the couch, honey? I'm a bad dog. Come here, father. baby. Come on, honey. Come on, mate. Okay. Um, so, yeah. It's, it varies and changes, but, um, but yeah, all in all, it's just persistency, consistency, originality, um, finding what you love and finding a way to do it every day. Um, what, you know, and, and also like asking yourself, like, what do I want to give? What do I want to contribute? You know, it's, it's, if it's all selfish and just for you, it, I don't think it could be too satisfying. Like, what do you want to give? to the people. What are you going to give? How are you going to serve them? In what way? You know? Are you going to teach them something new? Give them a good feeling? That's why we tried to do videos. If people really love videos, we tried to explore it, that concept more because we were yeah. trying to give people what they, what they wanted. Yeah, it's like, it's like the flirt videos. They touched people in such a way. Yeah. I'm talking, I have countless messages from people saying, truthfully that they were feeling suicidal not even yeah, a joke and that really they came good. across my videos and then their tears turn into laughter and yeah. they you know that's crazy but that. that and like you know a lot of people that are really really sick cancer patients going through chemo saying that my videos are the things that get them out of that dark despairing place and um that is incredible and it's like wow this is why I do it mm. so it's like how can you affect people what are you passionate about let's share that with the world share your gift with the world share your passion with the world 
Share the world, make it a better place. Love you each other and for me and the whole wide human race. There's a world we live in. Let's give it a last try. Let's love each other until we die. You and I. Let's love each other until we die. You know what? I'm quitting comedy. I'm just going to do music. I do that. <laughs> he blew off. He Ali blew farted off. right after, right when it went silent. It, you just heard. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard it, but we certainly did. Why does he do that? And it's always right in the worst moment. I took him to, to, to be look, to be taken care of once when we went on a trip. I took him to, to get um, boarded and I went in and I put him on the on, on the counter and the lady's like, Oh, it's Oliver, we like to see Oliver and then there was a silence and he went oh. Oh. like that. Oh. And then we both me and the lady both looked at each other and I didn't know what to say, so I didn't say anything. And she didn't say anything, and it was very awkward. There was just a silence and a blow off, and then silence. I can't believe you didn't say anything. What are you? What was I supposed to say? Just make a joke. Like of what? It. It's my, like oopsie. <laughs> but then it sounds like I did it. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to happen. I wanted it to be very clear that I had nothing to do with the blow off. <laughs> you could have said that was my dog. It wasn't me. I swear. But then it looks like it was. And then she, what if the vet just turned to you and went, whoever smelt it, dealt it. Oh. All right, guys. I hope you learned something from this. Um, write your comments below. What did you think? Um, are you trying to grow your social media? Was this helpful? I hope it was. Yeah. Any questions you have or comments, please write below. I love reading them and hearing from you guys. So I love you. Like and subscribe and comment below.